Okay, so we're going to work on a, another problem here, part F. We just finished part E, and we're going to substitute these values into this equation and find out what that's equal to. So I'm just going to clear up some of this, and if you want, start by plugging in, and, and then we'll see if we get the same answer here. I just took up a lot of space in that last question, so I'm clearing off the board here. And that should do it. So now let me just say again that we're, we're plugging in the values, and they give us the values to plug in here, and that's what this list is. And here they give us the equation, and the equation says, well, 2x to the third, that means 2 times whatever x is, right, to the third power. So first we're going to solve x to the third, and then multiply we'll that by 2. Then here we subtract 3x squared. So, well, we start with 3 and then x squared. So now we're going to square what x is and then multiply that by 3. And then we're going to add 5 times x. And then we're going to take 4 away. So breaking this down, first we have negative 1 to the third power. Well, that's like negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1, which is, in the end, a negative product. Right? Every pair multiplies out to a positive 1. So we have negative 1. And here we have negative 1 squared, which is just negative 1 times negative 1. That's positive 1. So now if I rewrite this in a simpler form, which I always encourage you to do, we get 2 times negative 1, right? So instead of negative 1 to the third, we now just have negative 1. Minus 3 times positive 1, which we figured out right here, plus, well, 5 times negative 1 is negative 5, and then we're taking 4 away. So now we can multiply these out. 2 times negative 1 is just negative 2. Minus 3 times 1, which is 3. Here I'm going to rewrite adding a negative 5 is just minus 5, and then minus 4. So now I work from left to right. Negative 2, if I take 3 away from there, I get negative 5, minus another 5, and then minus 4. See how I rewrite this each time. Negative 5 minus 5 is negative 10. And then take 4 more away. Negative 10 minus 4 is negative 14. And that's what I get for this one. In the next equation, they give us 4 times w to the third power. Well, now that means, of course, 4 times w to the third. So, and notice here I'm not writing this fully in the exponent, the parentheses like I did here. Because of the order of operations, uh, exponents come first. And here we're applying the 3, this exponent to this 4 before we multiply it by the coefficient right here. And we're going to add that to 3 times 4 squared, or w squared, minus w, or 4, plus 2. So here I'm going to move a little bit faster. 4 cubed, what's that? That's 64. We have 4 times 64, plus 3 times 16, minus 4, and plus 2. What is 4 times 64? Well, I know 4 times 60 is 240, and 4 times 4 is 16, well, that's 256. Plus, well, 3 times 10 is 30, 3 times 6 is 18, that's 48 altogether, and then minus 4 and plus 2. If I combine these two, well, 250 and 40 is 290, plus 6, 296, plus 8, 304, and then we're going to take 4 away and add 2, so I get 302. For this one. And I hope that's right. I think I'm getting these right. So I'm moving fast here. Um, now, in the last one, for part h, what do we have? Well, we have 3 plus 1 over z squared. And z is negative 3. So that's going to be 3 plus 1 over negative 3 squared. Negative 3 squared, of course, means negative 3 times negative 3, which is positive 9. And we get 3 plus 1 over 9. I'm going to rewrite that as 3 and 1 ninth. We can convert this in, into an uh, improper fraction. I multiply the 9 by the 3 and add the 1 to get 28 over 9. And that could be my final answer there. Alright, hope that